Hi, welcome to Rose Opal Knits, our knitting and other crafts podcast. This is episode 32 and I'm Daphne. And I'm Erica and she's my daughter-in-law and I'm her mother-in-law. So hello and welcome back to all our um, returning viewers. We appreciate you so much and we're so happy that you come back and spend time with us, um, you know, whenever we upload a new video. We love um, receiving your comments and just having conversations with you and, and getting to know you a little bit better. And um, just a reminder, we put all the show notes in the description box below. And we also have our um, in Instagram information and um, also, what am I trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> we also have a Facebook group for um, this podcast where um, it's really small now, but I think we, I just approved a new member yesterday or this morning, sometime here <laughs> recently. So it is growing. Um, so we'd love to have you there as well. Um, and before we jump into the um, crafty goodness, we are gonna discuss just briefly um, the cow, the knit and crochet along that we're hosting. It is a shawl um, knit and crochet along. And we discuss the details for that in our um, March extra video that we uploaded last week. And um, the information for that cow will be below in the description box box as well, but you can join us on Instagram and in our Facebook group. We will pull a prize from Instagram and our Facebook group, and we have one of the prizes. So Angela of Willow Tree Yarn, it was so generous and super sweet, and um, sent along this mini skein set to give away as one of the prizes. And it's just beautiful. It's called Seasons. And she also included, sorry about the crinkling, her business card and a little progress keeper. So that's, that'll be one of the prizes. So make sure you uh, join us for our knit and crochet along shawls. And whips are allowed and it's just participation. You don't have to finish anything to be eligible for the prize. Oh, wait, I don't want to finish anything. Why? I don't want to knit the shawl. You don't want to knit? No, because I want to knit everything else. Oh. So. All right. I <laughs> might finish it. We will see. So um, now we're going to jump in. And sorry about that clap. <laughs> if you're wearing headphones, that was probably loud. Um, also, if you wear headphones, you might hear the boxes that we sit on creak. I've noticed that. I've when never I've, noticed Yeah, it. when I'm, then again, when I'm, I'm editing, wear I wear headphones. headphones. And I'm like, oh, there's the boxes creaking. <laughs> but... Um, so, okay, so we'll start with finished objects. You want to go first? Sure. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I finished my socks. The socks that she had not casted on yet, but several Thank of you, you in the comments said, cast on your socks, knit what you love. Yeah, look. <laughs> so she good. did. Yeah, okay, anyway, so <laughs> they're just vanilla socks, and it's not my normal sock because it is a fish lips kids heel mm -hmm. instead of a heel flap because I do not like the look of contrast heel toes and cuffs I don't like when the heel is the heel flap I don't know it doesn't look finished and I don't know like it looks finished it doesn't look <laughs> right I don't finished. know it looks wrong in my well, mind that is her opinion because yeah. I disagree with it <laughs> I think it looks off I don't know I like the look of it more with the fish lip kiss heel or you'd probably like the look of an afterthought heel, too. Some, something else. Not a heel flap and gusset, mm -hmm. though. I don't like the look of it mm -hmm. on those. Mm -hmm. So, but anyway, so I did figure out how I to do that. I don't agree um, with her on that one. <laughs> but anyway, so it's just a vanilla sock with a fish lips kiss heel and a wedge toe. Which, the wedge toe is normal. And I kind of ran out of yarn doing it. Just the green one. It is the green yarn with the speckles is Willow Cottage yarn mm -hmm. in the Deku color way, which is the same color that I knit Holden's sock head hat. And then the pink is, what is it? Socks? Coops knit socks, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was getting flipped. <laughs> and I don't remember the color, but it will be in the description box. So, just vanilla 
And then I ran out with like five rows to go on each sock. You so, ran out of the speckled, the speckled yarn. yarn. So you just started the toe early. Yeah, well, I didn't start the toe. I just knit the pink yarn for like five rows and then did the toe. So mm -hmm. you can't even really tell though. But they're all done. Mm -hmm. And are woven in too. Very nice. <laughs> All right, so I just have one um, quick finished thing that I don't even have here with me, and I mentioned it in the last video that I was knitting a birthday tag for my sister-in-law's birthday gift, and I found the, ooh, look at that. <laughs> I found the little pattern in this uh, Cross Stitch Favorites um, digital magazine that I have. And I can't show you what it looks like because it's just a chart in the um, book. But they have 35 birthday idea tags in the, this magazine. You will have seen pictures of it because I took pictures and I will put them on the screen. So what I did is I stitched it and then I mounted it onto... Um, oh! An old calendar um, that had pretty pictures. I just mounted it onto a piece of that uh, paper from the calendar and then mounted both of those pieces onto sticky magnet. And um, so she could just put it on her fridge or wherever. And she did. She popped it right on her fridge. Um, and so that's it. And I don't have any other thing finished. Do you? No. No? All right. So should I start with my hats? Yeah. All right. <laughs> You always so, finish the half. Don't you? <laughs> so I have a half object. I finished one sock. This is where I was. So I start um, cuff down. So this is where I was. I had knit all these, and there is my contrasting slip stitch heel I flap. Like I don't know. <laughs> it turned. I think like I don't. It's probably because this is how my socks look that you buy from a store. Doesn't look like this heel. It looks like this more so. Mm -hmm. So that, I like the look of this. That's what makes this special because this is handmade. My, <laughs> hey, mine's special too. Mine's handmade and I wear a whole new heel. Okay? I know. I know how to do that heel. I don't. Well, I do now, I just but prefer, I didn't. I just prefer this heel. So anyway, um, this, uh, the contrasting color is um, willow tree yarn. The colorway is lollipop. And I did the cuffs. I think I did 18 rounds on a US one and then I switched to a US one and a half and this is Regia their glitter white um, and then I did a slip stitch heel flap and turn in the contrasting uh, willow tree yarn lollipop uh, then I switched back to the Regia or Regia see look I'm... anyway I, hear I, had say the... both ways, I know so... um, and then I did the umbrella tail, which is by Kay Jones of the Bakery Bears, which I just, that's my favorite fit for my foot. Um, and I had to do some yarn management too, so the other sock would match. So I actually knit, I think it was six rounds before I actually started the decreases for the umbrella tail. And this is not a ladder. It is on both sides. I just decided to do one purl stitch on both sides of the top of the foot, and I kind of regret it because it just kind of looks like a ladder. A little bit. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's a design feature. I mean, it's I not too bad. Gonna know. Yeah. So <laughs> anyway, so that is my half object. And I've just barely started the second sock. If I could find it. <laughs> it's in here. This is in just a little drawstring bag that my mother bought me years ago. I think she bought it off of Etsy. It's that like fairy tale scenes. But, yeah, there it is. There's my little start. <laughs> so, but I think I have the tag. Jeez, not for the regia, just for the willow tree. I thought I did. It's not in here. Sorry. Yeah, we've showed it several yeah. times, but so there is that. All right, you want to do a. How many do you have? I have three. Works. Yep, I have three too. Okay. I can start then. Okay. I'll start here though. Okay, so I have my beaver bag that I thought was great. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Anyway, 
<laughs> I like the inside too. It's got little lawn chairs. And her bags are super cool. They have like a little tiny. Mm-hmm. I don't even know what it's called. Like that little embroidery. detail. Yeah. But anyways, it looks like it's machine embroidery. Yeah. It's cool. It's really cute though. But anyway, so I worked on my cozy classic raglan. So here I am. I have split for the sleeves. I think I'm like an inch past the split or something. So that was where that leaf was. And I really like the increases in this because it just gives it a little, that's really hard to see because of my yard, but it gives it a really cute little detail where, and like, I don't have holes actually. I end up with a lot of holes. I feel like really? in mine, not oh, all the time. Huh. I was, I'm sorry. but I haven't been. If you can hear that loud mouth downstairs, that's her husband, my oldest son. He speaks very loudly. He projects. <laughs> so I've noticed before when I've been editing too, you can hear them sometimes. <laughs> if you wear headphones, you might not notice it. Sorry. <laughs> but I am actually knitting this um, with two balls of yarn. So doing the helical stripes. And mm -hmm. that's the first time I'm doing that too. Mm -hmm. So that's the sweater. And the yarn is, I don't know if I have a tag in here. I should. I don't know where it is. It's like on the tip on my, of my tongue. It's from Hobby Lobby. Is it Yarn Bee? Maybe. Yarn Bee Authentic Hand, hand Dyed. dyed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's like Tabby or Taffy. I think it's Tabby, tabby. colorway. Mm -hmm. I, it will be below. below mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. this isn't even the first time I've showed it. But uh -huh. this is the yarn. Mm -hmm. And I have four balls of it. So I was focused on this. And I was going to try to get it done. But... No, I worked on other stuff. So, yeah, that's where it is. And sometimes, like, looking at it on the camera, I'm like, that's so busy looking. Mm, I think it's pretty. <laughs> but it's all neutrals. So it's like, is it yeah. really busy? Yeah, how busy can neutrals be? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm knitting it on a US 6. Poke your nose. Okay. <laughs> But anyway, so it is on a US 6. Mm -hmm. I think it actually calls for like a US 5, but I didn't do a gauge swatch. Mm -hmm. But I, okay, I don't do a gauge swatch, but I also generally knit the size up. So it turns out the right size for me. Mm -hmm. But I just skipped the step <laughs> of doing it. That's because she has, um, you know, that knowledge of how she knits. <laughs> so she knows she's a tighter knitter and... yeah. She uses that knowledge, and it's worked out for her so yep. far. I have not made a sweater that doesn't fit because of gauge. Um, so I showed this last time, and I think this is called the Shores Cardigan by Ashley Lillis Designs. Uh, my pattern is currently missing. I don't, I don't know. I, a couple patterns are missing out of my project bags. I don't know why, but they are. So this is where I was the last time I showed it. And this is a cute new progress keeper that my friend Julie oh, made. I didn't bring those up. Those are downstairs. Yeah, mine are downstairs too. That stinks. But I have this one. Ooh, sorry. I noticed that last time too when I was editing that all my needles here. I'll try not to move them too much. But so I just knit a couple of inches. Maybe one inch. actually maybe three inches. I can't tell. <laughs> but you know, somewhere. I added some length to it. And I, like you, thought, oh, I'll be real focused on this and get it done. And then I, like, you know, stopped. I think I knit it for two days. And then I was like, oh, move on. She, so. You also don't like the bigger needles. No, I don't. Though. I can't knit as long on, with the bigger needles. Yeah. They kind of make my hands ache. So I am holding three strands. One of them is this yarn, which is Lion Brand... Pound of Love in the black colorway, <laughs> draw and stuff. And then the other two, um, these aren't the actual ones I'm holding, but so I'm holding two balls of this. <laughs> totally out. <laughs> um, I wasn't even this, paying attention though either. Uh, mandala, Lion Brand's Mandala in the um, Sirens colorway. So I'm holding two. Um, and they start at different colors, so they're not, you know, doubled up color-wise. But, and that's just going to be a fun around-the-house cardigan that I won't need until next winter now. <laughs> but, so. What do you have? 
I'm all done. Oh, wait. Is it? I'm knitting that on US 13. Mm -hmm. Talk about my other socks. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hold them down there, though. Yeah, she's fine. But anyway, so I'm finally knitting two at a time socks again. They're not two at a time anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they were. But then, like, I, I don't know. I felt like it was taking too long because, like, you're working both socks at the same time, so you're doing more knitting. But like, mm -hmm. I don't know. So I'm gonna show. Now, are these the socks you talked about last episode about how you wanted them done, but you didn't, you didn't? I didn't want to do the pattern. Okay. That's, a, okay. That's what I thought. Because I don't know. Like, I like the pattern, but, like, I just didn't want to do it anymore because it's taking so long to finish them. And I really wanted to use this yarn. Like, I kept seeing it at the Yarn Maven, which is our local yarn store, mm -hmm. and wanted it every time. And then I finally bought it because of the, um... Sale. Annual, semi yeah. annual sale. Yeah, mm -hmm. the sale she has, and they, she wasn't going to have it anymore, so I was like, oh, I got to buy it. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, this is where I was. This is the sock that's still on my magic loop. But, anyways, so there's the pattern. It's called the Improbability Socks. Mm -hmm. I forget who the designer is, but I was four rows into the heel flap. So, it's a cable pattern it's a little hard to see that's also why i didn't want to do the pattern either because it's like it's hard to see on the yarn mm -hmm. and everything so you're sticking with the heel flap on this one or yeah hmm. i was gonna rip back but i didn't yeah i just stuck with it that's so okay. took the other one off finished the heel flap and the turn and i think i finished the gusset i might have like one more decrease so it's in that oh, okay. weird in between stage mm -hmm. but i also decided to stop the pattern so Mm -hmm. Now, um, do, when you knit your gusset decreases, do you knit a regular round in mm -hmm. between each decrease? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I don't think I pick up the right amount of stitches. Mm. So, I think that's why it looks so short sometimes. Well, I know, I know some people, I think I've heard some people say in podcasts that they don't knit. They just yeah. decrease every I round. I think the Cozy Moth doesn't. Oh, okay. I think I heard her say that on our last episode. Oh, okay. But, I do knit a solid round mm -hmm. and then decrease the other round. Okay. But... I just pick up however many stitches I can find. And then oh, make okay. sure I pick up the same amount on the on other side. side. Gotcha. So, mm -hmm. but that's it. Uh -huh. So, it's just going to be the heel flap and then vanilla the rest of the foot. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. just so I can actually get them done and wear them. Because I don't want to do that pattern. It's like three different charts oh, of cables, okay. and you put them in where you want them, so, like, you can change the order of them. Oh, okay, that's fun. It is fun, yeah, but, like, and I like the pattern, it's theme. just, mm -hmm. it's getting lost in the yarn, yeah. so it's, like, what's, like, in my mind, I'm, like, why am I going through the trouble to try to figure them out, too, because I had to use Holden's computer and my phone to do it, Oh, because, like, I didn't know some of the, like, mm -hmm. things, um, the symbols, yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> I was, like, yeah. so weird. Uh-huh. But yeah, so. So I showed this last episode. This is my husband's sock. This is his first sock. I'll put it on my sock blocker <laughs> backwards. It won't fit on it the right way. Yep. It looks a little wonky because it's not the right way. But. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this is where I was um, on this sock in the last episode. And I, that's all I've knit. I'm <laughs> almost to where I want to start the heel flap. But I was determined to finish this sock, too. And then I was like, eh, I don't feel like it. Paisley's yelling at Holden. <laughs> she <is yelling. laughs> she's so funny. She, if she finds a sock on the floor, she picks up the sock and she screams at the sock and, like, moves it back and forth. <laughs> she's so funny. But she's yelling at Holden right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, um, so that's where I was. And this is Regia. I have the... No, never mind. That's my notes. Here it is. Cruise color, six ply, it's the DK weight, and it is the color 06201, and I'm using knitting that on a US 3. I like how rough the yarn is. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Well, uh, it's a good sturdy um, so it's not. Yarn. It's not rough, it's just... Mm -hmm. It's not, not super soft yeah, either. Yeah, it's not like... So I knit like, two by two ribbing for... 12 rounds and then I switched to a um a, a different rib I think you said it was like five by three last time five by two except um mm -hmm. to make it centered on the top of the foot um I purl one knit five purl one and then so 
But anyway, that's just so it's centered over the top of the foot. Um, but anyway, that's what I'm doing now. And uh, I hope I'll finish these in April. He won't need them until next winter now. I feel like starting all new projects in April, but I have to get some of these things off the needle. And this is being it housed in my Mountain State Stitches bag. Doctor Who. Wait, wait, wait. I counted this. Sorry. I counted my socks together. Oh, as okay. one. I don't know why I do that. I shouldn't have done that. But I also started a new sock. When did you start this? You know this. This oh, is from okay. Mary Rose. Mary Rose. So if you... You started that the day I started mine. Oh, okay. <laughs> so if um, you guys remember, I knit my daughter a pair of magic heel socks out of Regia children's yarn. I used a US one and I cast it on 50 sti stitches. Was it 50 or was it just 56? I think it's 56 because you thought it would fit my foot. Oh, if okay. It fit you. Okay, yeah. So, um, and she said it was too tight on her little wide block feet. And so she saw this yarn and she really wanted it and I said, well, that's good because I'll knit it for you. And so I am knitting another pair of Magic Heel socks, um, but this time I did 64 stitches on a US one, right? That's what this is, a US one? I gotta move the glasses, yep. So 64 stitches on a US one. I knit 64 stitches on a US one and a half, usually for myself, so. That's what I do. Um, and this yarn is Queen City yarn. I have the tag, I do. <laughs> yep, Queen City yarn on not a sock and that's 75 percent superwash merino 25 percent nylon and the colorway is doodle and it was a 50 gram skein i have it in two cakes i'm only knitting one sock at a time <laughs> but that was because since i'm knitting the um magic heel sock i'm gonna extend i actually extended like i knit the cuff of the sock and then started the heel because i plan on knitting the heel pretty long because my idea is that that heel will grow with her like I think I said that with the first one but this yarn is very soft and it's going to be a little bit wider so hopefully this sock this sock works for her it probably will because I mean the fir oh you're gonna zip your oh yeah no one zip my but hand. the first time the first pair of socks she put them on she said they were too rough and then you gave her a pair of your socks to go out in the snow yeah and she's just like oh are these for me or something like yeah that. yeah yeah she wanted to keep them but they were too big I mean I wear a U.S. um U.S. women's 10 to 11 and a half. <laughs> so anywhere in between there. I don't have a wide she foot. Probably I have a long foot. My sock. Yeah. Um, and this is in my stolen minutes bag. Minutes? Stolen minutes. All right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, oh, my bag is dirty. <laughs> Anyways, I have a Molly Klein bag. I showed this one before. Mm -hmm. It was like the last one I bought, I think. And I started something new. And was it last episode, like actual episode? What do you mean? Okay, we'll, you, <laughs> we'll find out in a minute. But anyway, so I'm making a baby romper. Right? And the little legs are done. And it is the Sunday romper by Petite Knits. Oh, maybe? okay. Well, information will be below if that's wrong. I think it's that. Actually, I've been putting it on the screen too, so. so yeah, so I'm sorry. It's almost done. All I have to do is get the buttons, the sleeves, and sew in the little crotch area. But we are expecting another little boy. So I decided to actually knit an outfit for him. Are you going to tell him how many weeks you are? Like 21, 22. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm going based on the size of this one, which is one Mason wore all the time. Well, I mean, well, he could fit it. Mm -hmm. We have very tall, big bibbies. Mm -hmm. So, it's pretty close, actually. Mm -hmm. It's just a little wider. And the buttons I ordered are coming from the United Kingdom. Mm -hmm. So, so gonna it's going to be a little while before they get here. Mm -hmm. But they're really cute. Um, maybe I can send you a picture, if I remember. Okay. And we can put it in. But they're like little tiny leaf buttons. Mm -hmm. And then, um, so that yarn was scraps from my Bright Feather. Mm -hmm. And I said it whenever I when showed, showed it, it finished. Mm -hmm. It fits me. It just doesn't it just fit me now. Fit right. <laughs> <laughs> right now. But, so, that was the hint. Mm -hmm. But, anyways, so, 
I am going to make a pair of socks and a little hat to go with it in the brown yarn From that's bright in my feather. bright feather mm -hmm. too. So just because yep. they look really cute together and I have plenty of the yarn. So yep. that's where I went. All right. And that's what was my main focus. But then I messed up the leg last night yeah. and had to get more yarn <laughs> this morning. <laughs> so I would have been done. But it's not, so it's okay. <laughs> All right, so my last whip is my Shoreline, I think it's called Shoreline Cardigan out of this book. And this is, I'll show you a picture of what it looks like. And is that what it's called, Shoreline? <laughs> Seaside! Seaside. Seaside Pleated Cardigan by Marie Green of all of this. Okay, so, oh gosh, I'm losing my little tiny ball. <laughs> all right, so, the last time I showed this sweater, it wasn't on needles. I had um, bound off the bottom hem, and I needed to pick up for the, um, you know, the collar, neck band, body band, whatever it's called. <laughs> and um, I did that. And it, so this design that goes around the front and the back, I'm doing a terrible job of showing this, front and the back of the cardigan right here, it's just like a knit pearl feature, actually it's slip stitch feature, and then this is the pleat back here. Um, that slip stitch garter is supposed to be what this is on the front of the sweater. And I did that. I followed the numbers that she said. I think you're supposed to pick up five for every six stitches or something like that. And I started knitting it and I messed up at the beginning. Got 300 and some stitches to the end. Had to tink back. Fixed it. Started the next, the second row. Messed up. Didn't realize it until I got to the end. Had to tink back. And then I let it sit because it is irritating me. And I thought about it for several days and I was like, you know what? I think I said to you, if I was knitting two by two rib, it would already be done. But I don't, I don't feel comfortable doing that or whatever. Because it doesn't match. Because it doesn't. Little, because yeah. then the detail is pointless. That's what I said. Yeah. Because then this detail is just here and it's just a little tiny detail. And what's the point of it? So I sat on that thought for like two days or something. And then I said, I'm not doing it. I'm doing two by two rib. So I did. And it kind of flew off my needles. Um, and it's shorter. I think that, that the band is was supposed to be three inches, three and a half inches. And I just knit two and a quarter inches. But that was plenty wide. And I was running out of yarn. So... I am knitting the sleeves uh, concurrently, and I'm using Chow Gu US 7s, which is what I use for the body of the sweater, and um, one is a metal 12 inch, and one is a wooden 12 inch, because that's what I had. You could have just asked me for my metal one. Well, you were here when I picked up, when I started knitting the oh. sleeves. You were, you guys were away on your weekend. Oh. Oh, well then I had those more <laughs> <laughs> And it doesn't matter. I think it, I think it made, makes just a tiny, teeny bit difference gauge-wise, but not anything. That's, that's a big deal. So, I, this is what I'm working with. I'm finishing the sleeves up with these two little tiny pieces. And then I have these which I knit two swatches for this sweater, and these are my swatches. That You can see that curly yarn right there um, that I pulled out, and I'm gonna attach those. And so the, the sleeves are gonna be as long as they can be, but I don't think they'll be quite long enough to be full length. And I'm kinda just feeling overall irritated with this sweater. So let me tell you, this is Patton's Classic Wool Tweed. It's worsted weight and it's like the black tweed colorway, which is like discontinued. I can't find it anywhere. And I, in the book, 
Marie Green lists the sizes. And there actually isn't, you know, I think it's like a, I don't know. I can't remember what the sizing is. Just let me look. <laughs> um, so the sizes are right here. So it's 30, 32 is one size, and then it's 34, 36 is another, 38, 40 is one, and then 42, 44 is the fourth size. And then it goes up. It goes up to 50, 52 is the last size. So when I took my measurements, I was in between. I fell in between the 38, 40 size and the 42, 44 size. She says in the notes that this cardigan is not supposed to close and that if you fall in between sizes, it's best to size down. I went with the bigger size. I totally ignored what she said. <laughs> <laughs> and I knit the bigger size. So, that's, I think that's why she yeah, ran out of yarn. That's, I think that's why I'm running out of yarn. Um, plus, because I knew I was going to want it longer than, I always want my cardigans a little bit longer than what they suggest, unless it's a, you know, like a long cardigan. I always want mine like down to my knees. <laughs> and so it is, it's big. When I put it on, it, it can close. So this is a cardigan that's not meant to close. It doesn't have buttons or anything. It's just supposed to fall there, which is what this cardigan is supposed to do. So when I put it on, it like, you know, it gets real close to closing. I mean, it, I think I can close it. And if you see on this cardigan, it's not tight. There's still room, but it's not saggy. And this sleeve is saggy. So I did some rapid decreasing here to try to like combat that, but I would have had to have really decreased it to make it fit like this. So it's a bit wider of a sleeve than I prefer. It's just overall kind of a, a baggy cardigan, which will probably be fine. I'm probably not going to hate it. I'm just not in love with it right now. But I'm determined to finish it. Like it's going, it's going to be off my needles before April, because I'm going to be done with this cardigan and just put it away. I might not even block it before next winter. I don't know, <laughs> but that's how I'm feeling about it. Just for the record, today is Tuesday, March thirtieth. Yeah. I know. I don't, you saw I only had like. <laughs> I know, but you're going to say that, and you're not going to work on it. I am. I'm going to finish this. <laughs> I'm going to finish it. It's going to be done. I don't know if it's going to be blocked, but it's going to the knitting portion is going to be done. And since I've been spit splicing it most of the time, I have hardly any ends to weave in because it's not super wash wool. Um, but anyway, but I mean, it's pretty, that yarn is pretty, but it's just, Oh gosh. Sorry. Did I almost hit you? No, the light. Oh, the... it blew out. Yeah. All right. So I'll put that down, but right now I'm keeping it in my, um, what are these called? Yarn bowls. Yarn bowls. Anyway, that's where I'm keeping it. <laughs> so there's that. Oh, excuse me. I bumped you. I was trying to get this. All right. So now we're going to move on to acquisitions. Do you have any? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I do. But How you go do first. You have? Uh, I have a lot. Yeah, you go first. Okay. Anyways, so. I have all mine in the basket. And the basket, I actually won a baby shower. At my cousin's baby shower yeah. <laughs> that we went to last Sunday. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, anyways, so I have quite a bit of stuff. Anyways, so <laughs> I went to Michael's to get yarn for a baby blanket, but I'll show you that in a minute because these are on top. Anyway, <laughs> so these are super cute. And apparently they sell out of these really really fast so i can see a why cat mm -hmm. and a little dog and mason and paisley thought they were they i'll hold them like them a lot but anyway so it is um little toppers is what it's called and it's for a hat so the dog and the dog and the cat <laughs> are actually pom-poms so hold on the tag got stuck together so they both chewed on their tag while we were there too so i saved the one that was less ruined <laughs> but anyway so this is tag and um, the pattern is actually on the inside of it. So I just saved the part of the tag that had it. So they're both going to get a hat. 
I am not in a hurry to knit these hats or anything. But the little pom-poms, I mean, you can see it on his. It just, I'm sure I can just pull it out. Maybe not. But anyway, so it has the ribbon. You can just tie it on really easily. So they will eventually have little hats. <laughs> and then I bought more yarn from Willow Cottage Yarn. So that's the tag. And it is the Cobalt, Cobalt. Sock set. Mm hmm Cobold. Co <laughs> it looks like Cobold. And it is an 85 80% superwash BFL and 20% nylon. And it is the Scouts is the main color. And then Mr. Wickman? Wickham? I can't read. It's like Wickham. That's Wickham. what it looks like, Mr. Wickham. But anyways, so the Scout yarn is what I actually wanted. It is an anime called um Attack on Titan. And the Scouts are one of the military um, branches, basically. Best way to I don't know. I don't put it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so it's basically one of their military branches. I forget what they're actually called, but they're called the Scouts, and though Mr. Wickham isn't actually a colorway from there. I don't know what that's from. But well, Wickham is from Pride and Prejudice. But I don't know if that's what It might Mr. be from Ta that. It might be from that, but I don't know. It's not from Attack on Titan. But I liked the red with the Scouts yarn because Attack on Titan is, I don't even know, how, it's kind of like zombies, but like, they're not zombies. Okay, so it's like hard to explain. Hold on, better explaining it. Well, they're Titans. Yeah, they're Titans, but they kind of act like zombie-ish. Like, I mean, they eat they people. they eat flesh? They eat people. Okay. And they destroy the towns and everything. But anyway, so the scouts are the ones that go outside of the walls of the, like, all the people, basically, are in the walls. And they go outside to of the walls to go... to go Attack the Titans? Yes. Oh, well, okay. To go kill so, yeah, and protect like the, the city, the, basically. The military and so whatever. I thought the red instead of the navy blue looks, would be better for oh, okay. the scouts. Mm -hmm. Because I'm going to knit holding the hat... And then knit another pair of socks, like my mm -hmm. socks. So I needed a mini. So I thought the red went with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Basically, it's a very gory anime. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I went to Yarn Maven again because they had a new setup. They remodeled, basically. And I found this yarn, so I bought three of them. It is... Jennifer Moon Farm. <laughs> Patagonia Organic Merino, 100% wool, what is it, DK? Uh, yeah, it's fingering? DK. DK, and the color is Juniper. But yeah, so I bought three of these, and I use the yardage from the Cozy Classic Raglan, because I either might make that or a cardigan from Petite Knit. So I have this yarn, and I have the... Pink yarn, the strawberry heather pink yarn that I have. I should I haven't shown it in a while, but I do have another DK weight yarn that I am going to use either for the cozy classic raglan or the cardigan mm -hmm. from Petite Knit. I just haven't decided which one's going to be which. And then the last thing I have is this yarn. It is Karen Cotton Cakes. So I forget the makeup of this one. It is. 60% cotton and 40% acrylic. Mm. So Holden said the baby blanket should be yellow. So this is yellow I found and thought was really cute. So I bought two of these because Mason took like one and a half. And I think I'm going to go based off of those measurements mm. for this blanket. I don't know if I'm going to go based on an actual pattern or not, but at least mm -hmm. those numbers. So and that's fun. Oh, I didn't say the color. It is sunflowers. Hmm. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So that's all I got. Oh, that's it? Mm -hmm. All right. So, I had placed an order with Angela of Willow Tree Yarn to order this mini skein set. And it's called the Speckled Spring Flowers. And I ordered it because I needed a few more minis to go into my Noah shawl that I showed during our March extra sh uh, of all about our Let's Talk About Shawls, um, which I 
I'm planning on ripping out and starting over because after doing that that um, March extra video, I realized I should probably go up a needle size or two, <laughs> just because all my shoulder seams are not small. But um, so I'm gonna rip it out and start over. But these I'm gonna put these in them. Put this in that shawl. And I had before our last episode, I had made um, a trip, right? Mm -hmm. to the yarn maven and i placed an order so that's her tag and i ordered six balls of barocco ultra wool in the color 8363 oh this is dk ultra wool dk to knit a cardigan by marie green out of that book <laughs> and um so when I finish that one, I don't know that I'm going to cast this one on right away, but that's what I have. So I have six balls of this in the cardigan. And also, I don't know. So I still have a subscription to Knit Crate, which I am going to cancel probably today when we're done shooting this video. So I don't forget um, because they've made some changes which I completely understand and um but they've made some some changes to the way they're pricing things and I just at this point I haven't been getting the monthly crates I feel like with my budget I'd rather buy a yarn that I know that I want and need for a specific project than you know get a, a crate um which is fun but not fun enough <laughs> for my budget currently but I did have some points to use so um, I cashed in those points for a code and I picked this yarn it is Audine Wools by Knit Crate on the Twinkle DK and it is the colorway Knit Yorker it's 80% merino wool 10% cashmere and 10% stellina 250 yards and it just it's gonna go on the stash um, I basically just had to pay for shipping, maybe like $2 more than shipping. So it was very affordable, but, um, so that came in the mail and so when I made the cross stitch tag for my sister-in-law, I was seeing her for her birthday that had passed in February. My birthday is April 6th. And so she and I, and two of our friends from high school, um, try to get together, um, so the other two friends, they both have a birthday in November. So we always get together in November um, to celebrate their birthdays. And then we try to get together in March to celebrate my birthday and, and my sister-in-law's birthday, which was in February and mine's in April. So it just works out. So we got together and um, my friend Julie, she's also a knitter, she um, gave me some crafty gifts. So I'm just gonna share those real quick. So she bought me this tote bag which is a quote from Jane Austen's Persuasion, which is my favorite Jane Austen novel. So I just love that. And along that theme, she got me these two beautiful skeins of yarn from Canon Hand Dyes. And this is the Anne Elliott colorway. Um, it's, the, it's a 75% 25. Um, 75% superwash merino, 20% nylon base, 460 yards. And then this skein is called Captain Frederick Wentworth. So Anne loves Captain Wentworth. <laughs> and they have all these years of separation where they love each other still, but secretly. <laughs> and so if you don't know the story of persuasion, but anyway, it's all about them, you know, like coming back together and like the trials they have through that, you know. I but, wanted to knit the Anne one. Huh? I wanted it. You, you to wanted see it. that. No, oh, I want you to knit it. I am going to knit it. Yeah. And see it. And, the thing's um, going to spiral. Mm -hmm. So, but, so that, she gave me, uh, she also gave me a t-shirt that has a persuasion quote on it and an apron that has a persuasion picture on it. And um, actually this quote that's on the front of this canvas tote is what Captain Frederick Wentworth writes her in a letter <laughs> so anyway i'm a big jane austen fan 
Um, and she also, in the bag, included this. It doesn't have anything to do with persuasion, but she just thought it was funny. It, it's a snarky frostage kit. <laughs> so and they, some of them are really snarky. Um, like this one says, I'm married and I live with my mistakes. Like That's super snarky. I would never cross stitch that. I don't feel that way. That's why. But <laughs> Goodness. Um, oh, she also gave me some vegan chocolate, which is really good. <laughs> And I'm not vegan. Um, I am dairy free. So just generally vegan chocolate is what works with me. Um, I don't, I try not to eat a lot of meat, but I do eat some. <laughs> um, and then um, I picked up this. She was at Hobby Lobby. She called me. She's like, you need anything? And I was like, yeah, sure. Pick me up like some springy colors and some, I love this cotton. And so she did. So that's it. That's everything. <laughs> all right. So, um, so that's all of our, that's all we have. Um, so I hope everybody is, um, doing well and, um, we have really pretty weather here. <laughs> um, I do want to say that, um, if you celebrate Easter, I hope that you have a very happy and safe Easter, a healthy Easter. Um, and then we will be back with our, our normal podcast episode the week following Easter, right? Yeah. yeah. And um, look for something fun that episode. Um, and anyway... <laughs> And then we should, if everything goes to plan, we should have an April extra video for you this month as well, which will happen probably the week after that. And um, so April is looking like it's going to be a very fun month. Um, and we've got some things to share with you guys. All right. So take care. And we will, sorry, <laughs> I have to turn on my, my thing. All right. It's on now. So take care. We'll see you in two weeks. Have a happy Easter. <laughs> Bye. Bye.